Can't believe we're doing this video. Summer is officially done. So I thought, why not close it off with reviewing all of the books I read this summer. I thought this video would be really quick because I didn't think I read that much. But I went through my list and I ended up reading 15 books, which is actually pretty impressive. I do have like my own personal goal of finishing 100 books by the end of the year. We're getting down to it. If you're wondering why I keep looking down, I got my trusty tier list here. So let's do it. One thing I want to point out is I got through three different series, which to me is pretty impressive. The Inheritance Game, Court of Thorn and Roses. I don't know why I can never say that book properly. And Thorn of Glass, which are from the same two authors, Sarah J Mass. Honestly, this summer has just been me finding out who Sarah J Mass is and reading all of her novels. So how I decided to tier my list is I got my S tier, obviously my top read books I'd read again books I would recommend. And then we got A, which is books that are amazing. They're good. I would definitely read them again, but they're not my top tier. Then we got B, which is good. It's kind of average, a little bit in the middle, but something a little bit more than average. Then we got C, which is decent. It has like the generic plot, nothing that makes it stand out, nothing that's special, and you just find it to be decent. And you might not even recommend it. You might even forget that you read it. I've had some of those. <laughs> and then we got D tier, which sadly is a pass. It's a book that you struggle to get through, a book that you don't want to remember that you read and also will never recommend, never pick up again. I feel like I'm being really harsh. <laughs> Basically, yeah, those are my tier listing. And uh, we got 15 books to put into these spots. So let's start it off. So the first book is Good Girl Complex by Ellie Kennedy. This book was actually pretty good. It surprised me because it was just a random book I picked up from the library. It did not disappoint. I actually really liked the plot. I found like it was really interesting, a little bit different compared to other romance novels. So that's why I'll be putting Good Girl Complex in A tier. I think there was some parts of it that doesn't make it completely my S top tier but I actually really liked the love romance portions of it. It wasn't some generic love story, it was well written, and I don't know, I was hooked. And I finished it really quickly, so I was not disappointed. The next book is actually part of the Inheritance Game series, but this series I used to help me get out of my slump, which I'm not even joking, literally got me out of my reading slump. This book was so good. I do not remember another time of being so hooked on a book. Remember like pulling all-nighters to finish the series, it was so good. Honestly, the first one I think was my favorite. It really hooked me in. The storyline was amazing, like the plot, the character development. It was so good. I really, really like this book. And that is why I'll be putting the Inheritance Game into S tier, becoming my first book on part of my top reads. Not even joking, it was amazing. I really, really enjoyed it. And now I can go to the Hawthorne Legacy because it is the second book of the series. So it makes more sense in my brain. I had to do it that way. The only thing I'm gonna point out, even though I just gave the biggest praise ever to the series, is that I think the first book was the best. And then it kind of dwindles after that, but it doesn't underestimate the storyline. It's still amazing. It's just because things start to piece together. You start to learn the full scope of the plot, which is why I'm going to be putting Hawthorne Legacy in A tier. I'm not saying the rest of the series was bad. I just think there was parts of the book that could have been changed or talked about more, but I still loved it so much. And I still like finished it. I don't, I'm not even lying. I think in two days, I think this was the fastest read of a series I've ever done. It was still so good. With that being said, the last book, The Final Gambit, I will be putting an A as well. I think the love story that was going on and even the reason why everything was happening, trying my best not to give spoilers, which all of my videos do, definitely was the reason why I didn't make it S tier. Going on to the next series, we got The Court of Thorn and Roses. The series was honestly, I think, best series I've read since Red Queen, but I can see myself rereading the series. It was so good, but this is going to be a little surprising because I just gave it such a high review. Court of Thorn and Roses, I'm putting it in A tier, not because it wasn't good. After I read all the books, I kind of have a favorite, so I'm going to be saving that part for my S tier, which I'm not going to live in little spoilers yet, but it was so good. Good. Honestly, the way it was written, Sarah J. Mass, probably one of my favorite authors now. I've been reading another one of her series. She does a really good job at getting you to picture it in your head and like the concepts and the sprinkle of romance that goes with it. It's just, oh, I loved it. I think this book out of the series was my favorite just because of the character development, different romance aspects to it. And I don't know, it was just like my favorite and it just made me happy is what I'm gonna say. I'm trying my best not to spoil not underestimating the other books because you had to have the other books to like set this one up so i just love the characters in it and then i'm trying so hard not to like spoil but things happen that the last book kind of gets ruined because things aren't as they perceived the truth comes out when the truth finally comes out court of thorns of roses bumps down to a tier because you're mad 
Then there is a quart of wings at Ruins, which I'm going to be putting into my A tier. Honestly, same gist. It was amazing. The book was good. Everything about it. This whole series, I loved it. And then the final book out of the series is A Court of Frost and Starlight. This one was a very nice close to the story. You get a good resolution of the characters, but it also was a smaller read. It definitely was just like an add along that you didn't have to read. It does set you up for the next series, which she starts writing about another character in the storyline, which I haven't read yet. If you guys have read it, let me know if it's worth it or not. But I'm putting it in B just because it's not the best out of the whole series if you have to compare, but it wasn't bad. It was still good. I probably wouldn't read it again because it wasn't like a major thing of the storyline, but it, it also was so nice to read because you just finished this like whole series and you like fell in love with the characters and then you get a little bit more. And another Sarah J Mass was a Thorn of Glass, which I started diving into Sarah J Mass after Thor a Court of Thorn and Roses. I just absolutely love her now. I will read every book that she comes out with. I will be putting this one in A tier. It is really good. I'm actually in the midst of finishing this series right now. I think I'm book Four. So I'm really really getting my Sarah J Mass fix. Book was really good. I would definitely read this series again. And then we have People We Met on Vacation by Emily Henry, which I absolutely love Emily Henry. So it makes me really sad to say I'm putting this one in C tier. Just because after I read Book Lovers, I absolutely love that book. I think it was my absolute favorite. That this one was a little disappointing that it makes me like push it down a couple tiers. And it wasn't a horrible read. I didn't think it was bad or poorly done. It just wasn't my favorite because Book Lovers was so good. And then we have The Spanish Love Deception, which I'm gonna be putting in B tier. I was actually surprised about this book. Did not disappoint with the enemies to lovers type plot that was going on. It did a really good job of emphasizing all of that. And also just like the tension building, the character development. I think it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. I think the only thing that makes me put it in B is because I needed a little bit more. That's just a me thing, but I still really liked it. And then the only book out of all the ones I have is the next one, which is Wedding Night from so Sophie Kinsley. Um, ow. This one I found at a bookstore, which they were doing like this huge sale with a bunch of used books, like two bucks to four dollars. It was super cheap. So I was like, why not? And it did not actually disappoint. It was kind of funny. It had moments of like humor with the mix of the romance. And it was between two different people. So you got like, two mixes of narratives from the two sisters. So I thought it was a really good read. That's why I'm gonna be putting it into B tier. For romance, I actually really enjoyed it for being like funny, silly romance kind of way. Also, it kind of just reminded me of those like old romance comedy movies. So you kind of got like a little nostalgic reading this. I don't know, I really like the way it was done. And the next book is Icebreakers by Hannah Grace. This one I'm actually gonna be putting in B tier. It was a TikTok recommended book and this one actually wasn't too bad. There was a lot of like explicit material. Like it might not be for everybody is what I'm trying to say. But it was well done, I actually really liked it. I don't think I would read it again. I would recommend or like someone asked me if they ever read it, I'd be like, yeah, it was actually pretty good. Also, it was a pretty fast read. So I found like it was a really nice, like easy read if you're like in a slump. The next book is Lore, which sadly will be a book that's going into D tier. Honestly, I had a struggle reading this book. It almost put me back in my slump. So sadly, it is D tier. And then finally, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins, which is going up to S tier because I'm not even joking when I say this book, literally, like my heart, it, it, it throbs for this book. It was so amazing, so well written, and just like the concept of it was so sad. And I remember when I was recommended this book that I, thought it wouldn't be a book for me because I'm not a big person reading like about people and I heard this book was kind of like a based on somebody a little bit of truth or like biography style which it wasn't at all it was so well done and such a good read that the concepts that were being told about that time period and just the character development and how is being told between the present and the past it was just it literally warmed my heart and i absolutely loved it and i fell in love with evelyn hugo is basically what happened oh my god i just realized my screen recording stopped i have to redo that part <laughs> But it was amazing, I absolutely loved it and I would totally read it again and recommend it. I think I've recommended it a couple times. So that is my tier listing. I've got The Inheritance Game, Court of Mist and Fury, and Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo living nicely on my S tier. Definitely a part of my top reads. And so that is all the books that I read this summer. Pretty proud of myself, I thought. I honestly didn't read anything. I hope you guys enjoyed. I try to post a new video every week, so I'll see you guys next week. Bye!